Thanks for watching our new video. We are the Piano Solutions uh, Restoration Shop. And uh, like always, we talk about restoration process, tools and the technique. And uh, today I want to talk about some challenges that you might uh, experience uh, when you restore the pianos. Uh, I like to talk about, like always, Stanley. And uh, I want to talk a little bit about one of the best company, probably the best company, the oldest. One of the oldest company in the world is uh, Blutner, right? It's a, a famous company. They built a lot of pianos. And uh, if you compare these companies, they just really achieved the great goal. The people in the music industry, they like Stanways, some prefer Blutner, some other companies. But uh, this definitely is a great pianos. In the early uh, 1900s, Stanway manufacture almost 5,000 a year. It's a huge amount of pianos. That's why if you look at design of the pianos, you notice a lot of uh, things that they're trying to simplify because uh, they want to just compete with each other. Bludner made uh, 1900s, uh, 2500 pianos, same way. And uh, for you, when you get in, in a restoration process, you have to be sure that you got the proper tool, of course. There's no way that uh, with a screwdriver and pliers and a tuning hammer go to this business. You need a lot of equipment because you're going to compete with uh, just great manufacturers. Uh, Blutner got equipment just unbelievable at that time. And of course, Stanley too. Uh, that's why the first you have to get the tools. And then you have to know what problem might you face too. And one of them, I want to show you, this is the problem that you're definitely going to deal with the uh, damper action tray and all under lever system, right? Uh, like, for instance, we know on the Stanway, in order to make it fast, Stanway glue the flanges. Uh, that's a Stanway tray. And they glue the uh, flanges on the tray. Uh, it was, of course, easy because they got the patterns. They can glue it and done deal, right? Instead of each, each one individually on the screws. Uh, let's say it's maybe 10 times decreased the uh, labor on these pianos. Besides this, some early ones, they got a rigid tap that is different from modern things. But anyway, in this case, if the glue crack in, inside when you're um, dealing with the piano, you got a big problem. You have to take all these things and just to whatever, re-glue it, right? Uh, if you have the problem with the uh, center pin, same thing. No way to uh, repair it. That's why in re, uh, in if you restore the piano, your goal, of course, is to make this piano last for the next century. That's why if you not replace uh, on the lever system, that's not the right way to do. And I noticed that in uh, in restoration, they even don't mention to replace damper action sometimes because that's a challenge. But since you want to make a great uh, restoration, you have to uh, count on these problems. On a Blutner, uh, it's more challenge uh, because Blutner uh, in 1900s, they designed the under lever system differently. It's not on the flanges. It's just um, the uh, um, under lever uh, just connected through the skin uh, to the body. And just uh, it goes uh, up and down just by bending uh, them. And of course, uh, there is the limit, of course, of bending. Like you see, one of the part is broken, right? It's separated. Same thing. The only on the blue is more complicated. It's beside that you have to take it out. You have to you not be able to replace it uh, unless you just some uh, make a cut and uh, anyway it's uh, it's complicated but that's going to be replaced one or two or uh, what about all the rest that's why the same thing you have to replace all under lever system uh, with the stanway um, a little bit easy because they still the manufacturers 
like Renner, and of course the best uh, uh, kit for this is uh, made by uh, Pacific Piano Supply. As you know, they should win so many years and they help a lot of, for restoration. And uh, they got this kit. For Blutna, unfortunately, it's not exist. That sometimes cost uh, uh, the uh, deny of restoration on the piano. Technician tells that's it. It's, it's over. And can you imagine that uh, just we lose this beautiful piano that still can be done just because of this problem? You have to be aware about this. Uh, of course, uh, I talk about this, that uh, when you are uh, dealing with, uh, let's say, uh, some problems with the soundboard, and you just think that you replace it, of course, that's a total just wrong because you not be able to get the wood uh, like before its period that's you have to understand that's your limits in restoration and uh, uh, with the blutner uh, of course uh, you have to kind of mm, fit uh, make some um, uh, fitting existing uh, on the lever kit uh, to uh, fit it to Blutner. It's a little bit challenge. In one of the video, I probably uh, explain you uh, how to do, how to duplicate uh, damper action for the Blutner. But today, I want to uh, just uh, um, focus on the challenges in restoration and uh, encourage uh, the people who go in the restoration uh, be ready, uh, first of all, to create uh, the proper tool, proper environment, and uh, be aware of the certain challenges uh, in the process of restoration.